Okay, Kelly. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Happy Friday. Hey, stop. Yes, One more sir. day away. <laughs> <laughs> One more day away from I need one more day away from my birthday. Look Party at that. Time. Just kidding. Look at that, man. Oh, it's gonna make it man. break that though. You know, I I woke up I woke up and I, I could feel my knee clicking. Both knees oh, at the same stop. time. And my <laughs> ankle, man. This is signs of oh it's settling in, just coming in all at once. <laughs> Hell, stop. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Yas Daily Show. We try to bring you the juicy good stuff on crypto adoption and when we're not doing that we are sharing motivation through shared knowledge and success yes, sir. i think that's a good thing to be doing anyway in this episode we're going to be talking about the alonzo hard fork has a date been set we'll get into that uh one of the effects of eip 1559 update the london hard yeah. fork which happened yeah. yesterday and some changes to the crypto tax proposal what we're going to be talking about but before we jump into all of that we would like to remind everyone that we are giving away five hundred dollars five hundred dollars <laughs> five hundred dollars worth of cardano two winners two hundred and fifty dollars each once we get to five thousand subscribers yes sir all you have to do to be entered is to subscribe yep. like and share the video with your friends let's jump right into the activity here today okay kenny you are in the world this has been some exciting times so guess what that had uh, that london had fuck man it's making some changes to the term gas fees down from 33 to 29 and of course let's talk about bitcoin dominance versus ethereum, ethereum dominance ethereum is getting for sure um it's kind of stable as of today bitcoin is losing its edge uh like i said earlier in previous uh, videos I think Ethereum might just take over, uh, take over Bitcoin based on the trends that we're seeing right now. Mm. And a lot of those tokens that are built based on the platform, hmm, they are making some serious movements. But as of late, Bitcoin made a major comeback yesterday uh, towards 41, 42,000, uh, but it's currently down back at 40. So I would say that's just some sort of stable movement moving right. sideways. And then we have Ethereum making that movement up. We're going to go to a analysis in a little bit to show you how that movement is going in the meantime. Cardano, we got some interesting news for you on Cardano. That is you not know, moving like a snail, but it's moving. Good <laughs> hey, oh 6.5% over the past seven days. Can't complain. Hey, yes, sir. Hey, right. Dogecoin on the other side. Mm, I would say this is a good time to enter. Um, we would put, I think we should do a scribble on Doge to right. see if it's a good time to buy at a discount. Okay. Just saying. We might the... have some interesting news coming pretty soon. Absolutely. And of course, oh, the Hellcat and that Cybertruck looks to be sinking. Let me take this one. Let me, right let me... now. It's not coming through anytime soon, but we want to have some strong hope. Right. But yeah, I got to fix that Shiba swap, man. People are pissed. That's what's going on. And Absolutely. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's what we got for you today. We have makers, and we, we, we have a bunch of other coins that we have, but we don't normally talk about them here. We right. just want to talk about the main ones. Let's go to the news, Chief. Hey, listen, before we jump into the news there, man, I just want to take the Shiba Inu one again one more time here. In the past seven days, sir, your cyber truck is <laughs> your cyber <laughs> truck has gone negative 1.7% away from you. Hey, at least it's not going negative 20.8% away from me because we do have some app. Hey. Remember we bought a couple of hands? Oh, that is <laughs> and that's so, That is true. Amp but has I'm been... not sticking on that hey, one. Hey, dude. Hey, hey, well, you know, listen, I, I will say this. This is one of those situations where it just requires patience. That is all. You just gotta wait it's, on it. It's investing. You know, no. if you're gonna be investing, this this is no speculation. It takes a strong heart. Absolutely. Especially when it listen, comes to man, grief, so. <laughs> time is the ultimate qual uh, equalizer. If you ask me. Yes. Right. In any form of invested. Yes, sir. Jumping into the news, Charles Hoskinson. So Charles Hoskinson is the founder of Cardano. He also participated in the founding of Ethereum and all that good stuff. So Charles Hoskinson announces tentative date for hard fork. Charles Hoskinson finally affixes some numbers to a month, but stops short of finalizing a precise date for Cardano's Alonzo Hard Fork Combinator event. The Alonzo Combinator Hard Fork event 
I guess officially has been scheduled. What happened to the haters? I'm just going to read the first paragraph which we have here. <laughs> I'm, we're not going to go into what happens to the haters. It's a great project. It's going to come through. During a live stream yesterday, Charles Hoskinson finally announced a range of dates for when the expected Cardano's Alonzo Hard for Combinator HFC to go live and finally bring smart contracts to the third generation crypto project. Listen, he needs to stop calling it a third generation crypto project until uh, smart contracts are on. It's a great project, but he needs to stop saying because, you know, when it comes, when I, the reason I said is because when he talks about third generation crypto projects, it makes it seem like, yeah, Cardano is out there, it's above Ethereum, but listen, right now it's not. Anyway, Hodgkinson estimates that the launch will occur somewhere between August 31st and September 27th. Okay, Kenny. I don't know. I just like the dates. So there's this conversation about people think that people born in August are the best people in the world. And I'm like, September. apparently it's the people born in September, right? <laughs> yeah. So I have not, th I think it's going to miss the August 31st deadline and we're going to see some action in September. Hey, just saying. Just listen, saying. man, considering just how much they've been pushing it back, man, not something. It says August 31st and September 27th. It's a good range. It, it does not say 2021, sir. So. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Talk about paying attention to details. Hey, look, oh, man. God. Look, hey, Charles Hoskinson. But this is good news, though. Uh, smart mm -hmm. contracts coming to the Cardano platform. I think that that is going to be uh, absolutely significant for the growth and functionality of this platform, considering all the things that we've spoken about that Cardano is working on in the past. The, the yeah. smart contracts platform is. I believe it's one of those things that is going to really help everything come to life, you know, digital IDs, Atala Prism and all the other cool stuff that they're doing back in Africa. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to see yeah. that there is some dates being spoken about. Yeah, they, they need to keep a user friendly interface in mind if they're going to want some major adoption so that whatever happened to Shiba doesn't happen to them. Absolutely. I agree with you on that. Ethereum Network burns 395000 dollars of ethereum per hour after the london upgrade at current burn rates 2.3 ethereum per minute or 6600 is going up in smoke apparently 2.3 ether is being burnt every minute through the new transaction fee mechanism introduced in ethereum's london upgrade on thursday the highly anticipated london fork went live on thursday this week ushering in an ethereum Improvement, an Ethereum improvement proposal EIP 1559 upgrade that adjusted gas fees. Part of the adjustment introduced a mechanism that burns some of the base fees collected. Yesterday, when we first checked this out, you know, it was still looking sketchy. Things were not really in there. But as as, as Kenny pointed out in the beginning, there, I uh, saw the gas fees are down. Yeah, 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 they're down. Um, I think this is gonna make Ethereum a lot more valuable. Right. Coming days. Uh, uh, so just for those who are not family, I'm just going to give a little bit more detail. So burning, burning Ethereum, this is essentially when if you, you could look at it as a deflationary function, right? Mm -hmm. um, where it, it takes these fees and, and these fees are essentially removed from the system, which reduces the supply of Ethereum, circulating supply of Ethereum, thereby causing the price to increase naturally not out of control but naturally so with this i believe what we can expect is an increase in price in ethereum and i think that if the price of ethereum keeps rising as a risk well the price of ethereum will keep rising because of this and i think that this will put us in a position yes. where yeah. uh, soon we'll be above that three thousand and holding above there go ahead yeah it also ensures that the 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 big pockets are not controlling the price. Mm. So there's that natural effect, right? The right. smart the, the smartness of the of, of, of the of the coin itself to sustain without necessarily having some big will think to come in there and think that he can move the, the price move of the, the price, coin yeah. Whatever direction they want. Absolutely. I mean the big wills always try to throw money at stuff and move the price and things like that. But hey, I think that this is a great functionality either way. White House confirms tax support for minor changes to crypto tax proposal. The crypto community is rallying against an amendment 
to the U.S. infrastructure plan that maintains strict reporting requirements for developers and validators while exempting miners. That is, that sounds asinine. What the heck? That's, that's, that <laughs> sounds crazy. By the way, that's not the White House. <laughs> just this so is the capital. Know, point the White House does not make the decision. I think they were this just going for is... like which one is a cooler building. Hey, the U.S. Capitol is cooler, way cooler the, the, than the White it House. Is, it is cooler than the White House. I would say that. <laughs> yeah, I've seen both of them from outside at close proximity. I've been inside one of them. <laughs> I walked inside one of them. Inside? What is in, inside? I feel like well, at the American Red Cross, I feel like it's sort of like the same thing. Old building, just tall ceilings. It looks no, cool from US outside. Capitol, inside the U.S. Capitol is super nice. Really? Inside the White House? Uh, no kidding. All right. <laughs> oh. Just saying. Oh, then I, <laughs> I, I can't say to, past that. Hey, man, I need to run up in that piece then, man. See what it's looking like in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. Before you even move a few inches close to it. Hey, man, I'll be like, listen, stop. My tax dollars are paying for this. I need to come see what I'm paying for, man. Okay, so just step back. Don't touch me. Talking about tax dollars. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Um, they, they want to tax crypto crypto miners. Uh, well, not miners, but the developers to help. Man. Um, right. You got to do all this tax reporting. Uh, there's this huge strict requirements. Uh, the details are not in, in, inside, this, uh, inside this, this specific article. Right. But uh, there are some strict requirements for developers and, and, and exchanges to start reporting. And if they are reporting, that means we customers or users would then eventually have to start reporting and the mm -hmm. at the end of the day is that they want to use the taxes from crypto for this big infrastructure bill like oh why does everything that you guys want to make legal gotta get taxed really like why does it have to go through this stringent process of taxation right that's what i don't get um the community is not super happy about it like miners Oh, that's that's a specific uh, legislator or senator uh, that is working to edit it at the last minute. But of I still course. think that it's been rushed and it we is. need some further review before they start making this further requirement and this tax requirement as well. Yeah, I think that um, pushing to put in, uh, I guess, these laws in place for crypto, I think it's a bit too early for that. I think they're rushing it because they mm -hmm. see the opportunity for money. However, I do think that it is good that they're starting to work on this. Uh, we're speaking about it and we're testing out things, seeing what happens and seeing what does not work. So um, it, it's an interesting one and I think we should keep following up with it. Yeah, I, I do think that it might push a lot of people to defy the uh, decentralized environment. Right. Absolutely. Uh, but then I'm not sure if they're going to come for decentralized uh, platforms as well so that's a lot of things to mm. question they can try but i think it's, it's, i think that it's uh, a deal, so you're not sure what they're gonna scribble uh, sc scratch off and add on to it at the last minute so absolutely it'll be interesting to see how they might come after DeFi. um i, I mean just based the, based on the way things are set up is going to require some blatant abuse of power to stop people from 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 using these things um and and maybe some unfair rules right from a tax standpoint to stop people from using DeFi. but it'll be interesting to see how that goes so we're going to keep an we're going to keep an eye on it and we're going to update everyone as this unfolds moving on to some scribble analysis we're going to start with bitcoin here currently trading at forty thousand five hundred and one dollars and ninety cents holding at that uh uh, resistance point or at least it's hit that resistance point of 42 or 41k there okay can you mm -hmm. take it away yeah so uh, as we've said we will need the candle to cross that 41,290 and hold above it for us to have the continuation of the bullish move right um, we've, we've, as you can see here if you follow the white cough theory it's done that retest right so now the retest is complete now so possibly if you're forecasting which we, you know no one is perfectly right it should be popping upwards one other thing that we've also been noticing is that the uh the moving averages the 50 moving average is moving towards the 200 moving average if it crosses above that it's going to continue that bullish movement so this is some pretty good news here i don't think i have anything else to add to it 
Absolutely. Looking good, looking healthy. Our size currently are at around uh, 61%, percent, right? Yeah, Which is not overbought. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, the TCM is holding, is holding steadily uh, mm -hmm. up there. Uh, definitely no signs of weakness at this time. Um, Strong weakness, just a little. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's in there. You know, uh, we had this little pullback here for that test. Now moving up, I think maybe another pullback. And then that is when I'm expecting it to break above 40, 41, or 41, if you will. And uh, once we break above that 41,200 uh, price point and close above it, I believe that is when we should be able to hey, make that run to 50k. Something though. Yes. Bitcoin did not give you your birthday gift because the goal was for Bitcoin to reach 50,000 by your birthday. Yeah. Well, and it's you know, like, nah, I'm hanging around. Here's the thing, man. It's all, it's all good. You know, um, sometimes the devil shows up in mysterious ways. I don't, that's not even a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even a thing. You man. gotta blame the devil now. <laughs> hey, I, I had to, I had to whip that one out of nowhere, man. But <laughs> hey, listen. Bitcoin man, if you're listening with all your algorithms, I need you to hop up to about 50k tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Hey, watch that happen for real. Ethereum currently trading at two thousand seven hundred and thirty-six dollars and eleven cents. Yes. Damn, I was hoping to say that whole number before it changed, but that did not happen. Two thousand <laughs> seven hundred and thirty-nine dollars at the time of this recording. Okay, can you take it away? Hey. This is another positive outlook on the term out here. Uh, I think the uh, the coupling of Ethereum and Bitcoin is starting to take place, especially after that uh, the the London hard fork, the hard fork uh, updates that we're yep. seeing there. Yeah. Um. I think these these low prices are just people trying to get in at the lower price before the prices continue to go up. Okay. Um. Your prediction is actually way more accurate than mine. You predicted that the uh, the sideways movement, or at least for a while, yeah. is going to be between that twenty eight. Thousand nine hundred forty, and that twenty six thousand, which is actually what's going on right now. Right, which right. means that um, your retest might actually be the initial one, which I'm still thinking the retest hasn't really occurred yet because I feel like I feel like okay. the whales and the big edge funds are gonna want to come and get in more and push the price down to like twenty six thousand, and right. then that makes that strong movement upward. But mm. at the as of this moment, you are on point and. If it crosses twenty eight thousand nine hundred and four, uh, nine hundred and four, then this 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 game is on. Uh, yeah. We are currently at a resistant. Well, actually, we're not there yet. We haven't even touched the resistant level yet. Okay. So it's just on its way up. Well, I will add this because this is something to keep in mind, which we have just uh, gone across here. If it's currently burning uh, about two point three Ethereum per minute, which is about $6,600 in smoke, right? Which means that the amount of Ethereum is reducing. Mm -hmm. The value itself is going to keep holding up, which is why I think that it is going to be more difficult to see a retest, a deeper retest, if you will. That will require some FUD, some extreme selling. I mean, everything that causes a bear market is going to have to throw a book at Ethereum, is what if I believe in this case. Buying right which no i mean extreme selling we're talking I about know, i know i'm just trying to think of the opposite if i have some extreme buying we should burn my term but we yes. should make the price go up higher much faster right so what you're saying at the rate at with what is happening right now with the deflation deflationary situation if nobody buys and nobody sells the price should naturally keep still moving up if you will, yes. because it's continuously burning Ethereum. Yeah. So uh, for that reason, I think that retesting certain lower points is there are certain low points that we're never going to get to again. Right. Awesome. Yeah. And so it should the retest. Maybe it might pull back a little bit more. But I think that for right now, I think that the major retest is really going to come in after the hype of the uh, EIP 1559 is dead. Mm -hmm. And then it's just going to be like a natural pullback in added on with some extreme selling right so maybe essentially another bearish market is what it's going to require for some extreme low point testing i just don't think that's going to go down to that 1000 uh, range anymore I, I think this explains why cardano had to quickly come out and say hey hey okay all right all right we got a date we got a date <laughs> hey i mean it's about time man <laughs> it's, it's, we've been waiting on it forever i mean cardano is great but time is money brother we gotta, we gotta keep it pushing. 
Um, speaking of Cardano, here we are currently trading at one dollar and thirty seven cents. Um, it's tested a well, essentially 140. That's around where that one. It seems like that price target I said there was more of a resistance than than a, <laughs> than a price target view, but it made it up to that 140 price point and it's holding there. Still sitting on the trend line, which I said yesterday. So overall, things are moving up. Your thoughts, sir? Yeah, we got the snail in the house, man. Um, hey. I think like the similar situation of what happened to Ethereum. Right. We also talked about some similar charts. Um, this could also happen to uh, Cardano if they're able to meet their schedule. Right. Um, we're going to see some aggressive movement up or leading towards those dates. There's going right. to be some aggressive movement up. People trying to buy in. Um, which could actually cross the 146 price line and start pushing even up to the higher one, whatever numbers Absolutely. that is. But based on the news, the media, the push, and the upgrades coming up, um, unless there's some crazy news going on with taxation in the um, crypto world, I think the prices should continue to go up. Absolutely. Sounds good. Well, I, I agree with that. Uh, it should it should stay around there. I'm just really expecting. I'm waiting to see what happens after we break above one dollar and forty cents, and after we break above one dollar and forty six cents. I believe. By the there. way, the fifty MA is still above the two hundred MA. So, <laughs> sure <laughs> the is. The best buy sure time is. to buy was when the price was below the two hundred. Absolutely. There have been some serious discounts right there. Yeah. Made it below it. Uh, let's see. That yep. was in July, nice. actually. That was in July. Weren't we, weren't we like singing for people sleeping. to buy? I think I bought some, actually. At that we bought point, some, we bought some yeah. One because one. I remember we were always talking about buying Cardano back. I mean, we were giving away Cardano. Of course, we bought some more Cardano. We've been continuously buying Cardano. But yeah, I bought some 113s and 111s. Yeah, but I think I did buy some below that 200 day moving average there. So yeah. interesting stuff. Uh, we'll keep watching it and we'll see what happens to Cardano. Now, I know you wanted to check out Dogecoin before we go I here. So what Doge is doing, man. So what Doge is doing. <laughs> Dogecoin. <laughs> Dutch baby. Great. Hey. Well, how much is that at currently trading at right now? It's, 20 cents? It's playing around that 200 MA, man. 20 cents? Uh, Look, yep. It's it gives a little bit back to that um, one fif uh, 15 cents. When you, when you say it's playing around the 200 MA, is this a good thing it's or right a bad thing? It's right there on the line. It's right yeah. there on the 200 MA line. Right, but this is my question right. to you. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, a bad thing. Because if it drops below, it's been falling if towards 50 it. Crosses it and goes down. That's yeah. gonna go even further down. Um, it's been approaching which in it. Way, if it goes down to that support level, uh, yeah. that, that's that's a big, yeah, that, that's that's a good stable place. But if it goes a little bit further down, man, I think I will load up a bunch. Well, yes, uh, further down to like okay. sixteen cents. Sixteen cents. If it goes yeah. to sixteen cents, I think I'll just buy a bunch. Okay. And just hold. Hey man, it's supposed to be well, the moon coin. Here's the thing, man. Um, uh, this 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 is not the best way to invest, guys. Don't 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 follow my advice. I'm not a financial advice, but don't worry, I'm man. just sort of a believer in Elon Musk. So, well, true. I don't this, know. this is this is because you're you're an Elon Musk. You're an Elon Musk uh, fan fanboy. Hey, talk, you know talk about the cyber truck. Talk about the you know the Teslas. You know, right? I, I don't know. <laughs> Well, check this out, man. Listen, I'll bring all, all, all of Doge Nation. Come close so that I can shatter your hearts. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> close. <laughs> Dogecoin used to trade way below a fraction of a dollar, right? Yeah. This thing used to sit so low. That, actually, let's not even go there. Let's, let's take it further back. Before Elon Musk, okay, this thing was trading at like 0 0.008 something. Here's the thing. While it was trading at that low of a price, it was above the 200 day moving average the whole time, right? Now you're moving towards, you're falling towards the 200 day moving average. You've been falling towards the 200 day moving average for months on end, right? And then fell below the 200 day moving average, came above it, failed, fell below the 200 day moving average again. <laughs> Let me point this out as well. Uh -oh, um, what, does that, what does that mean? A double bottom. Yeah, that's trouble. I'm sorry to be breaking the hearts of the Doge Nation right now. Yeah. It's coming down. <laughs> it's coming down. Yeah. It's coming down. 
Hey, Dodge that's, Nation, that's, I feel you guys, man. Panels. Listen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the <laughs> next move is down. Hey, 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 I have some advice for you Dodge people, man. Okay. Average down. <laughs> Prepare to average down. <laughs> you average down to you get average down over. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. But hey, look. It's it's a 200 day moving average. Uh, it's come back and tested below the 200 day moving average. Okay, but let me give you the flip side of that. Both times when it came down here, we saw that it found a support level there. So the good news is, the good news is that you may not fall. Possibly, it's possible that you, that those will not fall significantly much more than that. So it may come back down here, but then we already know that we have a support level here. Now, and that's where I want to buy it at. If it breaks below that support level, uh, <laughs> oh man, listen, man, obviously, these are the possibilities. Yeah, these are the possibilities within the chart, but I'm just messing with the Dodge, Dodge people today, okay? But here's the thing it's currently sitting pretty low, it's not showing anything really promising. What do you think? Sure, you can't even stick it. Can you stick it, Doge? Can you famous Doge? So, like, what's the value? But it's an investment asset, uh, you know. Oh no, you're you're the guy do investing on Doge. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm an Elon guy, man. I what love is, I love the dogs. What has Elon hey, said about have it? Have you seen Wolf and um and uh what's what's this called lately? Uh, uh Shiba? Chewy lately. Those guys are trying to do something, man. Oh well, true that. Well, what is Elon Musk saying about Dogecoin? Is what I want to know. He hasn't said anything. I've, I've been trying to finish up that freaking uh, nine hours of B World conference. He mentioned yeah. it once. That guy is quite secretive. I like his strategy of business. Um, you might just hear something tomorrow, and that thing goes spiking up. Hey, Amen. So, <clears throat> if you're, uh, I'm not Can a financial advisor. I just know to buy the lows. Uh, right and hopefully it pays up in the long term i mean that, uh, hey, dude, there's that's, some, some good followings that's all you can do because i will say this man once upon a time dogecoin was just sitting there not doing anything and uh you know if if, if someone told you to buy it you'd be like eh, whatever but if you look at it right now i had a friend that bought it way back then uh and put 700 dollars into it and right. that she woke up to twenty five thousand dollars eventually um <clears throat> that's not how investments work all the time it doesn't it, work like that all the time. but yeah. this is a early stage uh market opportunity here um no risk scared money don't make no money kind of situation right uh if you don't have 700 dollars to lose 500 dollars to lose or 200 dollars to lose don't do this risky stuff man yeah uh, it's, that's good i mean <laughs> it's like yeah. buying penny stocks <clears throat> i mean it buying can... valuable stocks Dogecoin, you know, I just have a little bit in Dogecoin and whatever happens to it, happens to it. It is what it is. Uh, as you know, obviously, you should not invest money that you cannot afford to lose. But I would say this, uh, I would definitely, um, for now, I'm, I'm definitely going to just keep buying the stuff that I have really high conviction. And for yeah. me, Dogecoin is not one of those just oh, yet. Wait a second. Look, we bought some Dogecoin. Look at those green and red lines that we put there in uh, May. Yeah, look up there. Yeah, look up, 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 yeah. Uh, yes, those lines. yes, yes, yes. We're, We're having great ups with Dogecoin at that point. <laughs> did did we need to go? Did you buy Dogecoin into, up there? Into uh, the trash can. I think <laughs> they were so, never in the history books. Exactly. I, I mean, I would say this. Uh, I'm losing on my Dogecoin because I think the very first time ever that I bought Dogecoin, we were we were somewhere up there. Yeah. Yeah. I have to buy the lows. So I think that's another opportunity to buy some more lows. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, I bought Dogecoin at 40 cents. Jeez, I bought Dogecoin at 40 cents. Just delete that from your history and, and, and yeah, like you said, let's, let's double down. Let's, oh, I'm not doubling down. I'm good. <laughs> I'm leaving it alone. I wasn't going to buy it in the first place, uh, but I just wanted to make some quick profits at the time because obviously it, was, it just kept running. Obviously, this is not a good trading strategy. You definitely make your plans ahead of yeah, time. But yeah, so I got in and then, you know, it, it went up for a little bit and made some profit. Then it started falling back. But then I was like, eh, you know, it, it is what it is, man. It's kind of expected this.
but anyway uh dogecoin currently uh, just swinging sideways nothing too interesting there uh that'll be it for this one okay kenny any final thoughts thanks for watching hey <laughs> look at that that's a new is that is that a new sound effect hey man i gotta get on the f1 racing with you bro <laughs> hey listen man formula one is going did you hey they raced last week <laughs> oh my god all kinds of things happened did you know lewis hamilton started on the grid by himself last week i heard i heard I but heard yes together. yeah interesting stuff going on in formula one and also there's crypto in formula one so yeah i'm is. waiting to buy some of my formula one nft sometime in the future i've seen them jeez those things are making money hey man they're in there man but i ain't got that kind of formula one money just yet <laughs> anyway uh 500 dollars worth of cardano once we get to 5,000 subscribers we'll be giving away two winners 250 dollars each all you have to do is like and subscribe subscribe and once we get to 5,000 subscribers we're going to be giving away that cardano until next time, cheer on present, out. Double O.